Ooh, morning stream. It's been a minute. It's been a minute, and I don't have a coffee pot yet, so... Uh. <laughs> How you guys doing? So, I'm gonna be working on a little bit of character design today. I've had an idea bumping around in my head. That involves some little elemental characters. So I'm gonna be playing around with that today. So like, earth, fire, water, air, obviously. Some kind of leaf. We're gonna, we're gonna do something I end up doing at the beginning of almost all of these streams, which is delete my progress and try again. Well, because they're supposed to be sprites, right? So I kind of want them just on a base of a sphere with legs. I'm just gonna throw stuff at the wall and see what sticks. And I, I'll, I will be deleting and moving on a lot, but I won't like actually delete. We'll just make a fresh layer and hide the one I've been working on. Cause like, what if he's rather than being, you know, cause he could be a little small leaf like that, torn holes in the eyes here. Basically, basically like a Korok is what this this feels like for me, which is why I'm probably not gonna go with it because it's too close to a Korok. I kind of imagine, like, wind around him, small leaves floating with him. There we go. Co cover your shame, sir. <laughs> Honestly, I don't hate that. It, or, or it's like a goatee. You could kind of think of it as a goatee. So the other thing I was thinking, rather than being something like that, I do like the idea of the leaf body. A little taller, like the... the, Because this is an elemental, so it, it can have a little creepy to it. Like, I... I kind of had this idea that you could do something a little more gangly. I probably am going to be stuck with having to do the leaf face. I don't think I have a choice. So we take that leaf body, right? And we have this hunched over shape. So then you have, like, spikes of the leaf come up like this. Because if you then took this, right, and then dropped it on here... We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, no pun intended, uh, I'm just kidding, it's fully in intended. We're going to branch out. The pun hurts you. I, I can't change who I am. I, I'm kind of just drawing the same shape again, but I'm hoping to actually achieve a little more dimension. And I think if I make this nice and clean, and like the central focus of the design, I might have a better chance of getting away with it. There are a lot of question marks on what I'm saying, because I'm not super confident, but we'll see what happens. I wanted this to be like it folds over, almost like a dog ear. That's fun. Uh, Pimpito, yes, like a dry leaf. I think I want him to be kind of, like, old. That's, that's kind of what I'm feeling. Dean, I, I, would, I would love to participate in that conversation, but I'm incapable. But, but yes, what, whatever whatever you're you're saying, I I agree with you 100. percent So yeah, like like Pimp said earlier, I do think this is just kind of a dry, crushed up leaf. Would be a cool way to do it. I like I like the idea of him being old. You know, I am kind of getting the right vibe out of this. Maybe, oh, maybe if we place this right with this kind of a shape, that can be, the leaf end can be more of like a tail. So his face center line should basically be along this leaf line. Cut down around to here, and then you would have some veins that head up that way. It's gonna look creepy. And then it would come out from behind the leaf. Like going for almost a pained expression. So... This is going to be the scariest Pokemon. <laughs> is this a Korok? I, I've been saying that the whole time. It kind of feels like one. But I'm trying to do my own spin on it because leaf, leaf elementals always kind of have that vibe. So, I'm, I'm not letting it get in my way too much. But yeah, it, it is kind of a Korok. Really? You like sports? Name all the sport words. Okay, I'm kind of liking that. That's, that's a posture I can get behind. That's, that's more what I had in my head. I know all about er, <laughs> Wii Sports Resort. I don't think that counts as sports. I don't know, because I, I lack the information to validate that data, but uh, I don't think so. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm digging the hunched over look. He might end up with longer arms. I did mean for the stem to be his tail. Do you like it? Does it not look like a tail? It's not creepy enough? But he's allowed to be a little bit cute. He can be kind of on the line. <laughs> the bell bottoms are making him cuter. I'm, I'm kind of okay with that, Kenna. This is for a game idea that I actually am going to be making, as opposed to my first idea that's going to take me forever to turn into something legitimate. Um, because it involves structural things that, as far as I can tell, are as of yet impossible. But we'll ignore that and focus on this. It's a Metroidvania elemental... Uh, where the, like so the elemental powers you get serve as the lock and key uh, to get through the world and uh, this is going to be the leaf elemental so they're, they're going to be like little guys that you pick up so there needs to be some amount of cuteness but I want this guy to be more on the creepier side of it if that makes sense we had some other good ideas let me, let me, let me keep looking at this oh wisp I do like sound as an idea crystal storm coffee Light and dark. Cheese elemental. <laughs> Crescent moon for the dark. Flower. That's an interesting idea. So just as a for instance, I'm gonna like wind a thing around his leg here. Just a bunch of bugs in a hive mind acting as one being. That's really interesting. Just a wheel of cheese and you just take a notch out of it. That's, that's looking like Pac-Man. So maybe we put an eye right here. We're gonna make it a female cheese. You can tell by the eyelashes, because this is a video game. Right now what's coming to mind is just like, Pizza the Hut. That's that's what's in my head right now. Like just kind of this puddle of cheese, with like stretchy gooeyness, shaped like blue from Foster's Home, you know? Haunted cheese. This would be a good bad guy model. Can the elementals be fighting foods? Interesting idea. How do we feel about fighting food-based villains? <laughs> only if you get to eat them after. What if it's the only food around? What if they're not actually the villains, and over the course of the game you discover you're the villain just going around eating these innocent food people because you got trapped in their dimension? What if that's what it's all about? He looks like a bad guy, but it's not his fault he's melty cheese. He, he, didn't, he didn't ask to be born this way. He's just a cheese man. I wanted that that cheese stretch to be a little bit more extreme. Extreme cheese! You're gonna lurk on mute because we're doing something important in class. You don't want it, you don't want me talking about dicks while you're doing it? Mix! Mix, we're talking about dicks. Are you hearing this in class? Cheese! <laughs> I think I'm really getting the stretchiness. Like, I think that's... I think that's happening. You guys know that I love to just sit down and draw something stupid. <laughs> it just makes my day. To be honest with you. Uh, and I really, I really like this idea. I'm really tempted to just copy. I'm so happy with that arm that I almost just want to flip it to the other side. Oh yeah, totally. Totally. It can regrow its cheese arm, pull it off, and throw it. <laughs> I like that idea. Right now it's a clay elemental. Hmm. So we need- he needs to be cheesier. Cheese is super greasy, make me gain calories by looking at the image. Well that we're gonna have to give him like shine and stuff. He's starting to just look like muck. To be completely honest. I think it's time for chunks of cheese. I think we just have to. You know, because if we took this, stick some fondue forks in it. <laughs> it <laughs> just taking this, this seriously, like sitting here like, how do I make this cheese monster? I just, it's, <laughs> what am I doing? That does kind of help. I'm kind of tempted to not give him an arm. Now it just kind of looks like he's waving. Like, leave the other arm gone. Somebody had said that earlier. I think I think you might be onto something. Well, and we were talking about the fact that he could throw it. I'm leaving the fondue fork. I I, I I thought that was just a joke, but I like it. So yeah, I'm not. It's not quite set in stone yet. But I'm gonna tell you guys my plan for scheduling from here on out for the foreseeable future. Six days a week, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday 
will be at 5 p.m. Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday will be at 10 a.m. Looks like a cheese wheel hairpin. <laughs> it totally does. I didn't mean for that to happen, but it absolutely does. I'm kind of liking that design. I do agree. We need we need the other arm. So do I want to do that in hand? You like it as it is. I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure. It definitely feels cheesier with the uh, with the globs in there. I think maybe I do really like that as a move. But maybe you're right. Maybe just for this sketch, it doesn't actually need to be like that. Give some sh give her some shredded cheese hair by the pinwheel, or by the uh, the hairpin. That's that's a good idea. That that kind of works, honestly. <laughs> I thought that wasn't gonna look like string cheese. It kind of does. I know you said shredded cheese, but I kind of went with string cheese. It's definitely the right idea. I'm not gonna stress about it right now. It does have the. It, it adds to the shape in a way that I really like.